Hey everyone, now that the Angular CLI is no longer in beta, I thought I'd do a video covering some of the basics and how it can benefit your Angular projects. So firstly, what is the Angular CLI? Well, if we have a gander at the documentation on GitHub, we can see that the Angular CLI is a tool to initialize, develop, scaffold and maintain Angular applications. And that's exactly what we're going to do now, starting with initializing our Angular app. We can install the CLI via npm with a single command. Just type in npm install hyphen g at angular slash CLI and let it install. Depending on your operating system and security settings, you may need to prepend sudo to the command as I've done here. Now we can run our first command to initialize a project. I'm just going to type ng new demo. With that done, let's now have a browse through the files it's created in our text editor. So running that command has created a demo folder and placed all of the project files in there. It's taken care of all the legwork to do the initial setup. We've got our package.json configured and our dependencies installed into node underscore modules. Inside the source folder, we've got all our app specific files with the bootstrapping process in place, ready for us to start serving the app. To start the app, we simply type ng serve whilst in the project directory. By default, this will then be accessible at localhost and port 4200. There it is. Everything is working harmoniously to successfully run our app in the browser. Okay, we've now used the CLI to create an app and serve it. Next, let's see how to use it for scaffolding our Angular app. Much like when workmen set up a structure like this so that they can more effectively work on a building, we can use the Angular CLI in a similar way to build and maintain parts of our app. For example, rather than manually creating the files and their contents each time we need a new component, we can simply issue a command to create all of this and configure a skeleton template ready for further work. Let's create a new header component by entering the command ng generate component header. From these results, we can see that it not only creates the component files, but it also adds it to our app.module. This means we now have a component configured ready for using elsewhere in our app. We have the components class with references to its template and style sheet, along with a unit test at the ready, which I think is the most exciting part of any programming project. If we were to open our app component template and use the header selector to insert it into the template, then this header component should then show in the browser. I've left the server running so the browser has automatically refreshed itself and is displaying our new component. There's also a number of options you can pass in when creating components. For example, if we wanted to create a footer without any view encapsulation, we would write ng generate component footer hyphen ve none. If we have a look at the components class, we can see this has been defined as a metadata property on the component. This means that styles applied to this component style sheet will not be contained to just this component. Now that we're able to start building the app with the CLI, let's make sure it's up to standard by running the linter. Simply run the command ng lint. Looks like I've left some trailing white space from when I've been messing around with the header. Let's fix that. So 
sorted. And that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. As you can see from this list, we've only covered the first four commands and nor have we gone into all of the features of the commands used in this video. So hopefully this will have given you somewhat of an idea how the Angular CLI can help you with your projects. I've really only touched the surface of it in this video. To explore it fully, go and check out the docs. For example, it's not just the components you can generate and there's many other features to explore. That's it from me for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.